Another step forward in the return to normalcy. In just a few days, Virginia will lift its remaining social distancing and capacity restrictions put in place because of the COVID-19 pandemic. Good evening, I'm Bill Fitzgerald. And I'm Julie Bragg. And for Candace, more states have been offering incentives for people to get vaccinated, including lotteries. New at 6, Cameron Thompson spoke with our state's vaccine coordinator to get his thoughts on the idea. Cam? Yeah, well, Julie, Dr. Danny Avula says he personally has some hesitations about that idea, but says they are still on the table for Virginia. Meanwhile, he is expressing optimism about how many 12 to 15 year olds chose to get the vaccine in the first week that they could do so. Since the Pfizer vaccine was approved for 12 to 15 year olds two Wednesdays ago, state vaccine coordinator Dr. Danny Avula says 12 and a half percent of Virginians in that age group have rolled up their sleeves or over 52,000. Really big step for just over a week of, of vaccinating 12 to, 12 to 15 year olds. Uh, we will continue to press on as we march towards community immunity here. Avula adds Virginia will likely reach President Biden's goal of 70 percent of all adults getting at least one dose by the 4th of July. He says the state needs Need to vaccinate around 343,000 more people in that group. So that's about 8,000 a day. Uh, and we have been tracking a good bit better than that uh, over the last week, around 20,000, 20, a little over that uh, per day. However, in order to reach 70% for the entire population in the state, Avula says it may take the vaccines being approved for even younger groups. He adds the state also needs to do more to convince those between 16 and 30 years old to get the shot, saying it's around 40%, but thinks it may be more about ease than hesitancy, noting some departments are starting to set up clinics outside bars or baseball games. Those kinds of strategies kind of just put this front and center for a younger demographic who's not going to go out of their way to get vaccinated. When asked about the possibility of incentives for getting the vaccine, like in other states, including lotteries, Avula says they are being discussed, but adds... There is some hesitation, at least on my part personally, to uh, overly rely on incentives for something that is inherently good, and I don't want to set a precedent uh, that we can't meet with all other types of vaccination moving forward. Now, Avula added that Virginia is unlikely to take the cash prize approach that some states have been using, using state or federal funds, but adds they could take a different, more local approach in some areas that have low vaccination rates, including offering state uh, park passes or hunting or fishing license like some states have been considering.